Have you heard of gaslighting before? So hi guys, Christine here, your online mind and body empowerment coach. I hope that everyone is doing really, really well today. So as the title says, diet culture is gaslighting you. So again, have you heard of this term gaslighting before? Basically, it is a person or an organization or a company or something like that that is purposely and deliberately as a form of control making you question your own reality. They are purposely making you think that you are in the wrong, that you are doing something wrong, that you have no willpower, no self-control. It is all a form of control and manipulation. It is a form of psychological slash mental and basically emotional abuse. It's a very, very, very serious topic and I don't say or talk about this lightly whatsoever, so I just wanna put that out there. But it's very, very important to see the truth, to see it for what it is, because only from that place can we consciously choose to let it go. Why? Because I'm pretty sure that most of us out there don't want to be abused and controlled, right? Um, I also understand that it's very, very difficult to break away from something that you're so used to. However, again, when you see it for what it is, you're more likely to make change. So when I say that diet culture is gaslighting you, um, as I just mentioned a couple seconds ago, when you are saying to yourself, wow, I really have no self-control, I really have no willpower, I'm falling off the bandwagon again, I tried this, this plan and you know, I just, it was just so, um, there's something wrong with me, I just couldn't do it. Or you know, I followed through and I had some short-term results, but then you know, here I am a couple months later and I gained all my weight back. What is wrong with me? There's something wrong with me. Well, you know, that commercial said that this other plan is supposed to be so much better and you know, I might as well try that one now, right? And then maybe you know, I'll finally be happy like they always promise. Guys, no, psychological abuse, I'm telling you right now, completely screwing with you, completely screwing with you. Diet culture knows that all these things that they put out are not meant to yield long-term results. They are not sustainable. Why? Because you are essentially starving your body. You don't have to be like ravenously hungry all the time to be starving, to be starving your body. You could still be starving your body of, of essential nutrients and not even know it. But usually you do know it. Your body always tells you. And this is the time, these are the times where you're thinking, I have a food addiction. I'm always emotionally eating. I'm always, you know, I'm always binge eating. I'm always doing all these things that I, I definitely have no self-control. I can't stop eating those cookies. I can't, I'm just constantly eating, eating, eating. You're starving your body, of course. Your body is craving food. So of course you're doing all of these things. Yes, are there other reasons that all those things are happening? Yes, but that's a major part of it. Diet culture knows this. This is how they maintain control and power over you. They want you to think there's something wrong with you. They want you to think that you have all these addictions to different foods because then you're gonna keep going back to them for answers, for guidance. Tell me what to do. What do I need to do? There's something wrong with me. I need help. No, again, it's a form of abuse. People who are abusive, again, yes, it's all about power and control, but they want you to be their source. They want you to have to always go to them to tell you what to do. They don't want you to trust yourself. They don't want you to listen to your intuition. They want you to always feel like you need to go to an outside source to get the answer so that they keep making money. That's what it's about at the end of the day. So again, they are playing on your emotions because most of us know when we play on people's emotions, it's a form of control, right? I know sometimes we do it, right, without realizing it, but babies do it from day one, right? They know if they cry, they're gonna get food or they're gonna get a, a cuddle or they're gonna, whatever it is, right? So yes, is it not always done maliciously? No, but in diet culture's case, it's always done maliciously. So it's super important to realize this. Again, I realize this is a very serious topic because lots of people get gaslighted in all areas of their life, but once you see the truth, once you understand it, get educated, do some research about it, you're more likely to wanna to cut those ties way sooner than later. So I hope that you guys found this helpful. Please let me know in the comments below. And as I always say, if you think anybody out there would benefit from this message, please feel free to share. Um, otherwise, I hope you all have a lovely day and a lovely week, and I will talk to you again soon. Take care, bye.